restarting a week of my life. I feel like it has been such a long time since I've done just a full week vlog and so i'm starting this on tuesday but i plan on vlogging through saturday looking forward to the rest of the day because it is actually snowing today which is a rare occurrence in texas it's actually about 25 degrees it's kind of more icy than snowy but we're having a day at home aiden's working from home we're just gonna make it a nice cozy day at home i want to try a new recipe i'm going to do a crock pot recipe from half baked harvest i want to do some organizing and a little bit of decluttering more so just in our fridge and then also in our bathroom so i'm going to do that next for the day get some work done got a workout in this morning it was really crowded though so i didn't actually record much in there and as the roads get better the rest of the week we'll be going more out and about doing stuff i definitely want to try to get a hot pilates class in and just have a fun few rest of the days and start to february to start i want to go through our fridge and just do kind of a wipe down and organize in there i feel like we have a lot of food that is either bad or just needs to be tossed and it just needs a proper cleaning so we're going to do that i also want to go through the bathroom because i have quite a few pr things here on my side of the sink i have a lot of stuff that's just accumulating and i'm going to put together some boxes to give away some stuff i probably do this about once a month but it's definitely time to ship out some things that i don't need and get organized and just have a nice little cozy afternoon. Here's the state of the fridge right now. We actually have a lot of food. I went to the grocery store yesterday just in case things shut down because that tends to happen in Texas when there's one snowflake on the ground. And so we're very well stocked, but a lot of these things are just not good. And I just wanna do a bit of organizing. So we're gonna go ahead and do this first. ask yourself why you have so much of one item. I do not know why I have so many avocados. I need to stop buying these. Okay, here's what it looks like. It doesn't look that much different, but I know that everything in here is edible. It's not expired. I'm also gonna cut up this cheese. We have this leftover from a baby shower and I'm always more likely to eat stuff like this when it's chopped up like this cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna chop that up. We're now gonna go under here. So this is under the sink very chaotic i organize this probably once a month but it's kind of just my catch-all that i need to go through and then i also have another box of a lot of pr stuff that i'm going to go through and then i'll put those into boxes for some future giveaways i gave away a couple of these boxes over on instagram but i'm going to give away two here on this youtube video all you have to do is comment down below what you're most looking forward to for february and then also your instagram at handle i will select two winners randomly a week from today and i will message them on instagram which is why i need to know your instagram at handle all you have to do is be subscribed to me here on youtube and follow me on instagram and that is it okay here's our after looks much better i cannot guarantee that this is going to stay like this for too long but i love that i know that these are only things that i'm going to be using a lot of restocks of things like my parallel vitamins that's a restock i have some that i'm currently taking next up i'm going to go through my box of pr stuff i'm so thankful to be gifted just a bunch of different stuff between makeup and hair product but i definitely just can't use all of this and so i'm going to go through here and organize them into bags and i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway so i'll share more info on that here in a second but i want to go through here and just divvy them out between doing a few giveaways for you guys so let's do it just sorted everything into bags i'm actually going to ship out everything tomorrow i think something that i'm using to ship all of this is stamps.com and i'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video because stamps.com makes shipping mailing running your business so easy it's basically like the post office but 
elevated and especially on days like this where I don't really want to be driving right now I don't really want to wait in lines stamps.com makes life so much easier if you guys don't know what stamps.com is essentially it lets you print your own postage and shipping labels right from your home or your office if you run any sort of business through a marketplace it's really nice because you can get all your shipping info directly through stamps.com you can print out all your postage from your home you literally do not have to leave your house you can also schedule pickups if you're shipping out items which is so nice and stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping option i also have a code that i wanted to share with you guys you guys can sign up at stamps.com michelle for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale and of course there are no long-term commitments or contracts you can just go to stamps.com michelle it's 2023 i just don't think if you're a business owner you need to be the one shipping out your stuff right now and i love that stamps.com makes it so easy it's essentially like your own post office from home never have to leave your home or office again you guys can sign up at stamps.com slash michelle for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale and again there are no long-term commitments or anything no contracts you can just go to stamps.com slash michelle just ate some lunch took cash out and got a little bit of work done and now i'm gonna go ahead and pop this recipe in the crock pot tonight i'm making these crock pot white chicken chili burrito bowls from half baked harvest i've never tried this recipe before i have tried her white chicken chili before but these look really really good it's about one o'clock so this will slow cook until we're ready for dinner and i'm really excited it looks good Set us for our kids. later I'm finishing up the crock pot recipe and I'm also making some pizza dough because tomorrow I want to try to make some sourdough pizza which I've done once before it wasn't the best and so I want to try it again and I saw this reel on my Instagram pop up it's so cute they basically made it into a heart shape and then they topped it with little mushrooms and I just thought that that would be super cute for Valentine's Day but this has to be made the night before so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the dough and let that sit overnight It's about 7.30. I'm about to head to the gym right now. I wanted to share that the puffers I've been wearing are from Fabletics, if you're wondering. I really like these. They're like the perfect crop length whenever you wear leggings. They're just super duper comfortable. This one and the white one that I was wearing earlier. Being that I'm gonna go run this morning, I'm trying to get down there a little bit earlier because yesterday it was mauved and I'm pretty sure that's because I'm sure people have gym memberships and didn't want to drive there. And so our apartment gym has been super duper crowded. So hopefully we'll get a treadmill because I do want to try to run this morning, but that is the game plan. I had some appointments today, but they actually got canceled, which is totally fine. I also need to do a set of stretches and folds on our pizza dough, but I think I can do that when I get back, so. It is one o'clock. I've just been getting some work done today. The roads are definitely not so great. And I tried to go out earlier today and it was definitely a little bit slippery. And so we're just having another day at home, getting some work done. We're actually about to have a call for doing some financial related things. I talked about this in my last monthly reset video, nothing super exciting, but 
is exciting for us. So that's in about 10 minutes or so because we can't do anything. I feel like I'm just doing all the little things I've been putting off. I am feeling a little bit cooped up today. I feel like it's fun having a snow day for one day, but whenever you are snowed in for multiple days, it's definitely just not ideal. So it's still gonna be productive, get some stuff done, have this meeting, and I'll catch up with you guys later on in the day. Thaw hamburger meat. I'm not putting hamburger meat on my pizza. You've never had a ha hamburger meat pizza? No. That's a good pizza. Okay, run water over it. Babe, I'm not, I'm just not doing this. Do it in cold water, it says. I'm not putting ground meat on pizza. Why? Oh my goodness, you guys, it's so much later. I am so sorry. This whole situation is giving major 2020 vibes because we tried to drive earlier, roads were so bad, they're still so bad, so. Just embracing it and gonna have another cozy night. As you heard in that footage, Aiden actually accidentally ate my pepperonis. And so we're just gonna try to do it with grape tomatoes. I think it'll still be cute. And then I'm also gonna do a buffalo chicken one just to get some sort of protein. And I'm gonna try to make them heart shaped. I've tried to do sourdough pizza before and it wasn't a major fail, but it just wasn't super duper great. And so I'm excited to try it again tonight and hopefully it'll turn out great. I'm also gonna do a side salad too. Thursday. It has been a day so far. It's one o'clock this morning. We ended up taking cash to the vet. That was something that I've been having on my list because I have this feeling that he has food allergies. He's been getting this reoccurring ear infection. Originally it was yeast in his ear, but it's come back a couple of times. And so I was getting that checked out and then also just asking my vet about switching his food. Last time he told me that switching to salmon food is really helpful, but he said just to wait on that to see if it was allergies. And so he's fine. He's acting like his normal self, but there was just some gunk in there. And so we got that cleaned and hopefully those stop going when we switch his food. I'm gonna do that next month. We're gonna take him back just to get it checked again. He has to get some shots and everything. So we'll do that then. But that was this morning, eight and I both wet because he's from the North. And so he's so used to driving in snow and ice and it was not even bad this morning we were out and I was like okay I'm able to obviously I'm driving right now I'm able to drive it's really not that big of a deal I have pretty much lived in Texas my whole life so I'm just not used to driving in ice and snow which I know northerners are probably laughing at me right now but you really have to learn how to do it we did that and now I'm just running a couple of errands I actually really just needed to get out of the house I feel like I've been so cooped up here lately and it's nice that Finally, the weather's getting a little bit better. I'm just running to the grocery store. We need some stuff for dinner tonight and then also just some snacks. And then I'm also running to CVS just to grab random things like hairspray and that kind of stuff. I know that this is something people are talking about right now. I know a lot of people talk about this stuff. I think on TikTok, I don't really spend time on TikTok anymore. And so I think that this is where this is coming from, but it's the concept of the winter uglies. And I have really been feeling that lately. I just, in terms of my appearance have felt for lack of a better word, crusty. <laughs> I think my skin is just so dry with all of the artificial heat. I am just not feeling confident at all in my appearance. And I know that this is not a big deal. We are so much more than our looks. I do never want that to be the most important thing about me. And I hate that stuff like this really does affect me. It's so not important in the grand scheme of life, but I have just been feeling like a winter crust this past, honestly, these past few weeks. And so I tried to do my hair today and just put on a little bit more makeup to feel a little bit more like me. But yeah, I just want you to know if you're feeling this way too, if you're having those low confidence days that uh, I too feel you. I also want to give anyone credit who lives in a place where the climate is like this the majority of the winter time through even, you know, April and May because 
I am just missing the sunshine. I'm missing the warmer weather. I am really thankful we have two Florida trips coming up. One is for a wedding and then one is actually for a work thing. I've been trying to work out a lot just to get those endorphins going because that really helps. I did it a little bit in New York City, but for some reason in New York City, there's just so much going on that even in the winter time, you still have things to kind of distract yourself. I imagine living in a remote area where it's also like this, I can't even imagine. So I just want to say that I feel you. I guess that's where a lot of the concept of like Hugo comes into play if you guys don't know what that is it's embracing these times that aren't necessarily the most ideal outside and just romanticizing it making it cozy i know it's so much deeper than that but i'm gonna go ahead and run these errands i'm also recording another video today so we're gonna do that and just have a productive rest of the day from the grocery store i wanted to share a haul this is not a ton of stuff obviously we just needed a few things here and there to hold us over and so got some pita chips a bunch of different produce for recipes these are blood orange tanginellos i'm pretty sure they might not be tanginellos but i really like these kinds of oranges because they're really easy to peel off this one has a spot on it but really like those my favorite chocolate is the hue chocolate i really like the salty one so picked up one of those i got an array of olipops i love to have these when i'm cooking dinner at night i've never had this one specifically this banana cream but i'm excited to try it the ginger lemon is probably my favorite along with the orange squeeze so got some of those some more lettuce for salads i always like to have a bunch of this coconut milk on hand for making coconut rice we have a bunch of different just deli meats for snacks some carrots i was gonna get broccoli but they're pretty picked over and so i I'm just gonna do roasted carrots tonight with dinner. Got some chicken sausage. Our favorite tortilla chips are these late July brand, especially the sea salt and lime. Those are my favorite, but just got a couple of bags, pretzels. And then I'm so excited. I picked up a Chemex. I've walked past this so many times at Whole Foods. A couple weeks ago when my friend Anna was in town, she was going off about how great pour over coffee is and I've always wanted to learn it. So I picked up these. These are just the normal filters. I would probably use the reusable ones ideally, but I wanna start with these just cause I don't exactly know how to work it yet, but I'm so excited. We'll probably try this out in a couple of days. And then for coffee for it, I just got this one from Stumpton. This is the founders one, vanilla and cocoa powder. I really like this brand. I think that they have really great coffee. I'm pretty sure it's Stumpton, not Stumptown, but I may be incorrect. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away and then get ready to some I'm trying to do a taste test of my Olipop. I don't know where your pods are. Olipop. <laughs> Is it on the couch? Is it on the couch? No. Just poured our Olipop into a wine glass because it's the best way to drink Olipop. And I really like this flavor. This is the banana cream. It definitely has a unique taste to it. So I don't know if everyone would like it, but I really like it. I really like banana flavored things too. I've just been wrapping up some work, finishing up a video. And tonight I'm really excited. We're going to go hang out with friends, which I feel like it's been a while since we've seen friends just with the ice and everything. And so it'll be good to get out of the house and hang out for a little bit, but I will probably catch you guys tomorrow. It is Friday and we have sunlight. I am so happy. It's a beautiful day out. It's still very chilly. It's about 35 right now, but we have sun and that is all that matters. This morning I did end up booking a hot Pilates class. So I'm about to go. This is my second one at this location and this isn't reformer Pilates. I would love to try that one day. Right now doing the mat Pilates is just a lot less intimidating, but I went by myself for the first time last week, I think, and just really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoy Pilates. I think it's such a great workout and I'm trying to incorporate more lower intensity, even though this is the most difficult class I'm about to attend. I'm a little unsure how it's gonna go because I'm still a beginner, but but I'm really, really excited. And there's something about being in a warm Pilates place when it's so cold outside that it's just so comforting. So we're gonna do that. Gonna grab some coffee. I need to edit a video. And then I also have a nail appointment today. So that is the Friday game plan. It's definitely gonna be a fun Friday after being inside for so long. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, last night too with our friends was really fun. I didn't end up vlogging, but it was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm about to head in here. I'm going to Shine Hot Pilates too. I didn't mention that, but I really like them. I'm out of the class. That one was so much harder than the last one I went to. <sighs> Let's head home.
back in the car. I've been at the apartment getting some work done, working on a video to finish up for tomorrow, but I'm super excited because I'm getting my nails done today and I think I'm gonna do something Valentine's Day themed. I really wanna do, I've seen this basically everywhere, but it's a really neutral nail that's just like a baby pink and then they do a clear heart on it or a white heart. I have an inspiration photo I'm gonna show him. I see Steven at Rose Couture Nail Bar. He does such a great job. I've seen him for probably a year and a half now, but he's awesome. Um, if you're looking for someone in Dallas, I really like him. These nails I really, really liked. I had these on for quite some time, but they're really grown out and also just really gross under them because I cook and especially with doing the bread with the dough, it is kind of gross how stuff gets under them. So I definitely need to get them trimmed too. Let's head in. Sorry, there's an alarm going on outside if you can hear that, but here are the nails. I think they turned out so cute, just very simple, but I think they're really fun for Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. Yeah, been back home for a bit. I basically finished my video for tomorrow, but I do need to do a couple of edits tomorrow. So I will finish those in the morning, but now we're headed off to dinner. We're gonna go to Miriam's. It's a Mexican restaurant here in Dallas that we really like. It's always easy to get into too, but the food's great. The people are really sweet. We probably go here like once a month. It's just really great. Good morning, it is Saturday morning. I made myself some breakfast. I've really been liking doing cottage cheese bowls lately, which sounds really random. I'll put a clip in of the cottage cheese I buy from Whole Foods, but it is delicious, super high protein. I just put some nuts and some raspberries on there. I know dairy can cause acne, but personally, I don't think that my acne is really affected by dairy. I think it's more so stress, lack of sleep, and caffeine. But if you're not really affected by dairy, I think cottage cheese is Really tasty. Finishing getting ready right now. I'm gonna throw on some lipstick here in a sec, but we are actually headed to the farmer's market today, which I love to do on Saturdays. We go to the Dallas farmer's market, which I really like. I think I would like to find something that was a bit smaller. I feel like the Dallas farmer's market is just very commercial, but they do have really great stuff. And there's also this produce stand. I don't remember the exact name of it. I really like to go there just to pick up some produce. So we're going to do that. And then after that, we're actually going to do some antiquing. We love just looking at different antique shops. And there's this strip in Dallas. I believe it's in the design district. It's actually right by where I got my wedding dress, which was at AM Bay. I believe that's technically the design district, but there's a place called Lulabee's and then Benny Jack's, I believe is the name of the other antique shop. And they have really nice stuff. I love this jacket that I'm wearing today. This is from my newly. I don't remember the exact company. I feel like it's from Urban Outfitters, but it is so comfortable and it's about 50 degrees. So I feel like this is a good level of warmth. I was gonna do a newly try on haul in this video, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I will be vlogging tomorrow, so that will definitely be in a video, but I really like it. If you guys don't know, newly is like the clothing rental service that I use, and I think that this one is super cute. farmer's market wanted to share a little haul of the stuff that we got didn't end up getting too much stuff just because we already have plenty of groceries but i always like to stop by they have one little bakery section and picked up some sourdough this is a salted rosemary sourdough loaf i do want to make bread this week but i think i'm going to give away the loaves that i make so i wanted to pick up some bread to have there's also a produce stand that we really like and so i picked up these blackberries these always taste so good i don't know why these are so much better than just blackberries that you get at the grocery store but they're so sweet and then these i'm not sure what they are i think there's some form 
of an apple, obviously, but I've never seen a yellow apple like this. So I thought that this would be fun to try. That is everything that we got. Hanging out on the balcony. It's actually such a gorgeous day. It's like 55 degrees today, sunny. I recently got this from Jess in the mail. It's her day by day, 100 ways to capture memories and create your own story. It's basically a guided journal, but it has really fun prompts to fill out and just little things to go through. I did one the other day that was about your favorite, just simple joys, 20 happy things. It's just a fun little thing to do. And so I'll have this link down below if you're interested. Possibly going and hanging out with my sister later tonight. She is cat sitting for my other sister, Lindsay. I mentioned that they just got a Maine Coon kitten. It's seriously the most precious kitten ever. And so I might go hang out with her. I'm not really too sure yet if that's confirmed. For now, I just know I'm gonna sit here, enjoy a nice little balcony moment. up going over to hang out with my sister tonight she's not feeling super great so i'm just staying back here a and i have just been hanging out on the balcony it's been so much fun we've been doing this basically every single night where we just bring the speaker out and then hang outside it is really chilly out right now but it's always fun we like bundle up blankets and it was really nice, but I am gonna make us some dinner. I'm just gonna do a simple chicken sausage and veggie skillet, super simple. I make this one all the time. It's like my favorite go-to simple recipe. So we're gonna do that tonight and just have a chill Saturday night in. finished dinner and watching our show and we are headed to bed i'm gonna go ahead and close off this vlog here though thank you guys so much for watching so thankful for you guys and i will go ahead and catch you guys in my next video